Hello, friends. My name is Ricky from Social Shinigami here. Now, before I get into whatever I'm about to get into, you, you've read the title. I'd just like to play you the, this select clip from, from the new Death Note presented by Netflix. <laughs> Alright, so now that we've <laughs> we've set the tone for uh, the caliber of uh, expertise and skill and uh, craftsmanship of this uh, this film project that we're working with here, the new Death Note is, is, is not good. It's terrible. It's it's uh, it, it left me physically angry after the credits rolled. I haven't felt that disappointed in a film in a very long time. It's been years. Like when the credits rolled up. I, I was I was literally speechless. I like I don't I honestly don't even know where to begin. But I guess I I want to touch down on the things in this film that other people haven't been talking about um, that are terrible, and I'd like to, to to bring those things to your attention because they were hilarious when I was watching the film. Now, if you don't know what Death Note is or what I'm talking about, Netflix made a adaptation to one of the most popular animes ever made called Death Note. Uh, if, if you don't know anything past that, look it up. Now let me give you some backstory. Uh, I, I don't watch anime. I never got into anime. I don't, I don't dislike anime. It's just one of those things where like you either love it or you're not that into it. Uh, there really isn't in between you. You're either like a super weeb or you're, you know, not that. I just never picked it up. I mean, I watched a couple episodes of Attack on Titan and I watched all of Death Note, and I found myself, when I was watching through the episodes, it's probably, what, like 20, 25 hours long? It's it's very long, it's a whole series. I was absolutely enthralled by it. The story, the characters, it played out like a really long movie, and that's exactly what you want. It was very entertaining, I loved it. So, when I heard Netflix was making an adaptation to that, I, it's not quite a remake, I mean, it kinda is, but it kinda isn't. I got excited because the trailers looked really good. It has William Defoe as the the uh, as, as as Ryuk, the Shinigami, which honestly is the best part of the film. But I I I'll get to that. So naturally, when I sat down and, and saw this, I was a little disappointed. Okay, let's I guess let's start off with with the thing that everyone's talking about, and we'll move into my weird quirks with the film. The casting was awful. All right, besides William Defoe, who was who had a total of like less than five minutes in the film as Ryuk. Uh, the costuming on that was phenomenal. Well, Will, Will, William Defoe was was awesome. Uh, as always, I'm a big fan of his work. Everyone else in the film was either very forgettable. The guy who played Light, just <laughs> not good. And then the thing I want to talk about most is L. <laughs> uh, I am L. This is him. Hmm. He's nothing like I thought he'd be. Because L is one of the most iconic characters uh, in the series and kind of an anime as a whole with my limited knowledge, but I, I like if you don't know anything about anime, you might know who L is because he's he's a badass character. He's like a super introvert, but he's super intelligent. And they tried to recreate that uh, in the live action Death Note. And while they, they kind of got some of it right, uh, it just comes off as really cringy and awkward. Okay, I guess I can't talk about uh, the casting for L without bringing this up, which I thought about the whole movie and I haven't heard anyone else say. When you adapt a film and Americanize it, when everyone in the animated version of Death Note are, you know, anime characters, they're all, they have crazy movements and stuff and you, you can't replicate that in real life. So while this adaptation changes mostly everything, they, they, they change it around to make it look American and it's, it, you wouldn't even know that it was from an anime until L comes on the screen, okay? And there's a few select scenes where I, I get what they were trying to do and try and capture L's mannerisms, but d d watch this. <laughs> Nothing about Elle's movements in this entire film is natural. And I would totally accept this as a stylistic choice. If anyone else in the film moved like this, like like an over-exaggerated anime character, 
But no, it, it's just L. He just does the, the weird things. It's cool till much later. Hello, nice to meet you. He's trying to move like an anime character in real life and it looks really stupid. That's what I'm trying to say. As far as the plot, also very sorely disappointed because that's the driving force of what Death Note or honestly any film, that, that, that's what makes any film good. And while many will argue that Death Note as a standalone film without any connection to the anime is, is a perfectly adequate film. Some, some people even enjoy it and I understand that. But when the source material is so good and so legendary, it's almost soiled. They they, they kind of they, they drop the ball on this one. And also, a part of me feels like Death Note was not meant to be crammed into 140 minutes. Because as I said earlier, Death Note originally is a full-length series with with multiple acts. Uh, it's easily over 20 to 30 hours long. It, it's a full anime, and this this film is 100. And it's it's a little over an hour and a half. So. Understandably, they have to cut off a lot of plot points, a lot of characters, a lot of really important stuff, and that's where I just think this just flat out doesn't work. This this shouldn't have been made. And after thinking about this idea of condensing whole series into one single feature length movie, I, I, I couldn't help but think of this game I recently played and absolutely fell in love with, uh, Near Automata, which is also a primarily Japanese uh, of origin title, but it is a video game, not a film. And here's the point I'm trying to make by bringing up Nier Automata. See, Nier Automata is about 40 to 50 hours long in total gameplay length, but in that time you get to grow with the characters, you get to figure out different plot points, and it plays out like a really long film, but they can cram a lot more stuff into it uh, because they're not restricted to the 90 minute, two hour film Mark. And while I was playing through this game, I had the thought multiple times, man, I would love for them to make a full-length movie out of this. The story is that good and that strong, it could easily make a great film. But then after thinking about that, you, you can't condense 40 to 50 hours of, of, a, of a whole storyline into an hour and a half or two hours without totally mangling it. And that's exactly what Death Note does. And in the second act, it, it's essentially just 20 minutes of montages and soft 80s rock for for some reason the style choices are all over the place they skip over the whole kind of cat and mouse thing between l and light i mean they, they do a little bit but like that that was the best part of the anime and they kind of just totally glossed over it which which makes a lot of the plot points lost here and the last point i want to touch down on is how the film looks, how it was shot. Uh, because I've seen a lot of people on Twitter, a lot of film reviews say it was kind of a poorly constructed film, it was rushed, uh, the, the acting was, was not great, the casting was questionable, but at least it looked good. And I actually disagree with that as well. The film looks fine, but I think I think it's getting way too much credit. It's just average. And some some sequences and some parts in the film do look like it, it's very like film schooly. And the biggest offender of this is the introduction or the, the the intro with the credits that lead into like getting the notebook now while the first act of this of this film was was actually really good it was it was the best part of it what i noticed is the director kind of just throws in shots for no reason and that's what film school students do i noticed in the intro that there's there's this thing called a dutch angle all right where it's a regular angle but tilted for some reason. And he does that multiple times in the intro and fuck I hate Dutch angle shots. They're the worst. I might be overreacting here. Just, just a tad, just a little bit, but I don't know. I was a little offended by, uh, by the quality of Death Note. I, I, sure, some people liked it. It wasn't the worst film. It wasn't the worst, but it just strayed so far away from the greatness of what the anime was. And I'm not an anime snob. So that, that definitely says something about how like offended I was of this film's existence. But what did you think of the new Death Note film? Did did you like it? Let me know in the comments below. Did, did you like my performance in it? Get it? Because I look kind of like a Sheena. Okay. All right. I'll, I'll leave. If you like this video, make sure to like and subscribe and stuff. Uh, I'm going on tour in the fall. Link is right there, socialreposttour.com. And I'm also, my uh, the pre-orders for my new album are going up in the next week. Uh, the physical copy pre-orders are already available. So do the thing and make me not want to kill myself. And um, 
I'll see you in the next video. Stay sad, but not too sad. Mwah. Yay. Oh.